You know what um, Beethoven's favourite fruit was, don't you? Banana! Banana! You know okay, that's why. Banana! <laughs> Okay, now's your time. Burst into some lay mirrors right now, really loud. God on high, I'm not a stranger to the dark. There you go, you did it without getting froth on your beard. <laughs> Thank you for being so lovely. You're just unbelievable. You know, you're, you're just unbelievably cute. <laughs> we can go for a dinner and a, a movie. What we should do is maybe go out again and go see a movie. <laughs> it's a little, little horsey impression for you there. <laughs> I love it, we're gonna gallop out of here. Yeah, there you go. And anyway, Beethoven's not composing anymore. Do you know where Beethoven's not composing? No. But it's because he's decomposing. <laughs> Can you imagine older men having sex? What do you think about like older men having sex? Definitely. Just in general, just like getting with people, because I think it might be different when you're older, because you can't really do it the same as when you're younger. I, just, I guess I have thought about it a little bit, but yeah, I don't, I don't really try to think about my future. Just now together, would you mind just doing a quick prayer pose together? and a quick namaste. Oh, can we do like a namaste thing? My Are we friend, gonna do that? Are we gonna do that? My friend tells me I have to do it. Now. Well, you should have told me before I grabbed the ship. I just got straight involved. <laughs> and then you just like bow to it. Okay. See if you can make him do an om. I mean, om. Um... How do you feel about wrinkles? <laughs> so what do you think about the signs of aging? The signs of aging? Yes like wrinkles. You shouldn't need to worry too much. Oh, I've got one more wrinkle here, one more wrinkle there. That's just part of life. Would you worry when you reach to that moment? I've got wrinkles. Where? Look at them. Oh, come on. I've got more wrinkles than you. There's, there's not I've a wrinkles. hard life. <laughs> so just think about being scared or alone when you're older. I don't think I've ever really thought about being alone yeah. as such. Not saying that I'm assumed, but you know what I mean? If you have a period of time, oh, yeah, if I like in a completely empty house. I don't know, I quite like my own company though. Would you like another drink? It's free. Can we have another drink? The marmalade cocktail is very good. So who's he see himself living with, like, as he gets older? So who do you see yourself living with when you're older? Maybe a sort of queer commune, like an LGBTI kind of commune. Like a LGBT plus commune? You know, that elderly life and the... Yeah. Why not? He's a very interesting person. I feel like I'm also obsessive over certain things, so like it did, that didn't bother me. I didn't find it intrusive. Like I feel like it's so weird because people have parameters around what they want to talk about on a first date. Whereas for me, I'm like, if you're if the conversation's flowing that way, then cool, let's just go that way. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm vegetarian. I'm gonna, I'm vegetarian. I didn't even twig when they bought and I was about to eat this and I completely freaking forgot. So you forgot you're vegetarian? I find it fascinating, honestly. I mean, that sort of stuff always fascinates me. I didn't find it intrusive or anything. I thought it was really interesting. So that just made it more like, ooh. I'm getting so hard. <laughs> Jesus. Don't you have to take all your clothes off in a minute? Yeah. Oh, maybe, <laughs> I have to. I'm someone that really sort of wears, wears my heart on my sleeve or says exactly how I feel or what I want to say. So. So I, I really admire that just coming out with something, if, if you want to ask a question, then ask it. Hello again. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Mel? Good. Looks like an intervention. <laughs> we need to talk to you about punch No, I'm joking. I'm going to tell you in a minute what I'm doing here. Okay. But more importantly, how was it for you? It was good. I like talking. I do like talking. I'm quite a chatter. Chatterbox. That came, so. that came across. <laughs> did you know? Oh, I'm, I'm a chatterbox. <laughs> did you notice any kind of theme in the conversation? Yeah, it was. I don't know. A lot about age. Oh, ah. Is this where I dropped the. Yeah. So, um. I, had I this did see that. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Gay Star News, who you know, are doing a project, and it's LGBTI founders. Mm -hmm. So they're getting older, older queer people like myself <laughs> to speak in earpieces, yeah. just you know, to set the precedent that getting older is not anything that we should be worried about. How do you feel about this business that if you're over thirty, you can't go out on the gay scene? Bull <laughs> <laughs> Us as queer people. Um, getting older, I guess I do see myself, I guess, living in some kind of queer commune as I get older. Hopefully, somewhere by the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've learnt in my life is from mixing with people of all ages. Mm -hmm. So when I was your age, I really enjoyed talking to older people about their experiences. Yeah. And now, it's the other way round. And I like talking to younger people about the same thing. And I think that's how we learn. Yeah. For me, this is about um, meeting people like yourselves and just making this world s such a better place that we can all just be ourselves without any fear of discrimination whatsoever. So yeah. I will keep doing this until we can all walk down the street freely. I mean, that's, that's the whole point. So it's just beautiful meeting and having fun with you two today. Yeah.